Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tomato Chronicles. Yay! In fact, the last time I uploaded was back in August 2013, which was three years ago. That's crazy. I mean, I'm really sorry, but before I go into rambling what was happening and so on, let me just quickly explain what we need to do here. So, basically, we can't proceed forward on that path you just saw until we get a specific item, and we need a piece of chalk. Oh yes, ignore the bats, just pick up a small med pack and off we go. So, back to the chalk business. In order to get it, we've got quite a lot to do. So, firstly, notice those little monsters. That's our main problem. And that torch over there is the solution. So, the idea here is to light the torch, distract with it our monsters, uh, get the crowbar, get the chalk, pick up the secret in this area, and that's, that's it, basically. Well, um, about my haters, because I kind of feel I need to explain a couple of things here. Although, <laughs> I'm not sure where should I start. Like, in my mind I was imagining, oh, I can say this and I can say that, but it's not that easy. Well, of course, three years is a bloody long time, and believe me, I tried to do something. I think seven? Oh no, eight times I recorded this level, and every single time it didn't work. It was so frustrating and annoying, so... I was like, well, fuck it, I can't do this anymore. And because I'm sure all of you know YouTube is my hobby, I do have my main job, which at that time needed my full attention. I was traveling a lot, I needed to learn a lot, I have my family, which I need to take care of also. So I had to prioritize basically. and. Actually, some people might say, oh, excuses, excuses, but frankly, I don't really care, because we need to make choices, whether some people agree or not, it, it doesn't matter, only you know what is right for you. So, um, that's basically it. Oh, yes. Um, I actually wanted to say a big thank you to people who wrote supportive comments and who wrote messages on Facebook and who wrote emails. I really appreciate that and thank you very much. And let's actually save the game. Okay, so now that we've saved and picked up the first secret, it's time to get the crowbar. And basically it's opposite side to the torch. Right there. So... Let's swing there. And hooray, we've made it. Oh, come on, Lara. We can do it. Okay, now let's get back. And once again to the rope. So, the one thing that's left for us to do here is to grab the piece of chalk. And Basically, we need to swing to that pillar to the left. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but basically try to do what I'm showing and you land safely. And you need to have a good swing. So hopefully the next one will do it. And yes, we landed perfectly safe. But don't worry if that didn't work out, they put a large mate pack here, so it's not a big deal. Now we need to do a series of tricky jumps, and boy I remember how we were struggling here when I was younger. It's not that hard when you know what to do. 
So go to the very left on this pillar, shimmy once to the right, pull up and hold jump. Now quick pit stop here, again pull up, jump, jump and grab at the end. And you're done. Hooray! Now all we need to do here is to crawl. So when we get to this point, don't drop down, shimmy to the left. Pull up here. Oh, come on, Lara. Let's pick up a large med pack here. And finally, oh no, one button. And finally, grab the chalk. Now, let's go back to that area at the beginning of the level and do what we need to do there. And we are back in this area. And you know what to do here. Jump over the beat and pull up. Oh, come on. Oh, and be prepared for cinematics in this level. There are a lot of them. One, two, three. Yeah, I want to say three in game, and there is also one cutscene at the end of the level. So yeah, when we get about here, or no, press the action button, not the jump button, and enjoy the cinematic. Now, I wasn't joking when I said there are a lot of cinematics. Because you know what? Another one is coming. Who is this that stands before me? The first to visit me in my prison 700 years past. 700 years? All alone in a barn. <laughs> Those winter nights must have just flown by. Silence, ignorant heretic, or I behead you. Leave him be. <laughs> For the child has spirit. But what is that when this island is littered with the bones of holy men? My gift to them for their spirit in obstructing me from claiming my rightful inheritance. And this inheritance, I wouldn't wonder, would be some way to explaining why you're walking and breathing when you should be gone long past. The inheritance is the gift of eternal life, contained within an ancient scroll. Concealed by the dullard abbot and his cohorts, a scroll which draws forth pale demon blood through my veins. I am no longer man, 
I am one foot in earth, and one foot above the gaping abyss of Hades. So why stay on the island? Came for a holiday and fell in love with the scenery. Hold your yapping oh. tongue, for want I clip it. Boils and blades plaster over this island and its treacherous inhabitants. For it was they and their pox-ridden abbot who plotted to incarcerate me in this dungeon hall for an eternity. I, Vladimir Kalita, who worshipped in the first Kremlin, who butchered the Swedes under Nevsky on the banks of the river Neva, incarcerated within this prison of flowing water. Running water? You're trapped here by running water? Demons cannot cross running water. Indeed, the abbot's final trick before I was transformed. And you shall find a way to shore up this stream, or your holy man shall be opened up and gutted like livestock. Okay, so basically after the dialogue we've got a task in hand to stop the water flowing or the demon will kill father. Mm, what's his name actually? I don't know, but let's call him Peter. So we need to save him. And that's by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is the old meal. No time to waste, let's jump into the water. Now everything is not that easy here, there is a hack under water. Oh, there she goes. Oh, it's the perfect timing now. Let's quickly grab a coin from her treasure and swim the hell out of here. Oh, she's right behind us, great. Basically, we need to use that coin as a bait. Oh, let's hope it will work. Well now, while little monsters are enjoying their dinner, we've got to head back to the treasure place because there is a passage there and we couldn't reach it with the hex women around. So that's where we're going. And it's right here. Great, now we're inside and... To be honest, there isn't much to do here, it's like pull one switch and you are done. Kinda expected more of the meal action if you know what I mean, but oh well. Okay, let's actually quickly save here. So we need to turn this huge wheel 5 or 6 times to open a door. You won't get more time if you turn it 10 or 20 times, so don't waste your breath. I think that's enough. Now jump to the left, run, jump to the wall, off we go, and angle yourself for this jump, be careful. And crawl under. It's perfect. Ignore the beds, by the way, as usual, they don't do that much damage. Just pull up. Oh, oh come on, pull the lever and see what it does.
Okay, so we've seen the barn and water streams, which kindly suggest that we are ready to save Father Peter. But before we do that, we need to grab two more secrets back to back. And the one we are heading to now, we could grab earlier, but we would have to jump over the fire and possibly chuck a mat back. But now the way is clear, there is no more fire, so it's safe. And if you remember when we entered this mill section and jumped into the water, the secret is is on the left. It's basically right in front of us. So let's crawl. Pick up a large med pack. And here is our golden rose. Cool, second secret is done. Now let's try and jump out of here. If we can position lock correctly. Nope. Didn't work. Oh well. Let's climb out and run to the third secret. And it's all the way back at the barn area. Okay, jump into the water and ignore the climbing section on the left for now, just swim straight. And right here turn to the left. Basically it's the first left opening and ta -da! another golden rose. Now it's time to get back to that climbing section I've just mentioned, because that's the proper way to go. Okay, we are almost done. All that's left for us to do is to climb out and then do a series of jumps. And we are out. Now, the jumps are not that hard, but if you fall, you either have to climb all the way back or reload your game. And really nice music is playing, indicating almost the end of the level. Okay, so this final jump is a bit tricky. You need to get to the very ledge right in the corner and let's actually save the game because we are so close to the end. And let's do a running jump with one dive. Hooray, we did it. Now let's get inside. Okay, quickly check the statistics. You should have 27 out of 36 secrets at this point. And yes, we have three out of three secrets in this level. So let's turn this wheel and enjoy the cutscenes. job well, and I taste freedom for the first time in an aeon! You will not now fear me, for you have served your purpose well, holy man. And for this, should I exercise mercy as a god might? Now, that'd be nice, but I'm not holding me breath. Yes, I shall spare. And secure for you a fate worse than death. For when you pass beyond this world, heaven shall no longer welcome you, for you have released a demon. 
my faith will protect me from feckless lesser demons as yourself. Father! Ah, the child. I shall snuff out her life as a candle. The book from the library. done well, girl. And before you ask, I'll tell you. The book you've got, I myself was looking for it, but as I couldn't find it, assumed you had it. <laughs> and lucky you did. But how? If you name a demon, you have power over him. And you named him. <laughs> it's your shout, Lara. For this you shall burn for eternity! I shall drown you in a mire of your own entrails before I squeeze! Be quiet! What do you reckon we get out of this godforsaken place and go and get a nice cup of tea with Winston? Almost forgot. Would you be wanting to wave goodbye to our little friend? <laughs> Back to where you belong. And you'll have learnt a few valuable lessons from that, I'd be thinking. You'd be thinking right, Father. Her curiosity was eventually her failing. The path she chose was the path she loved. And for this, we should celebrate, not grieve. Although I fear for Von Croy, pursuing his inner demons, driven half to madness in his quest for her final resting place, he will not find peace in himself until this is complete. Ah, the infamous trophy room. And you will be doing the acrobatics to enter, Winston, yes? Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. And here it is, gentlemen. The artifact which led to the animosity between Miss Croft and Von Croy, ending ultimately in this terrible business. Okay, Miss Croft, I'm presuming by the lack of communication that you're in position facing the Von Croy Industries building, right? Containing our little prize, the Iris? Affirmative. Right. Now this is what you're good at, yeah? Time to switch roofs. Switch roofs? Easy to say from the ground floor, wouldn't you agree? Come on now, stiff up a lip, top hole and all that. Time to get hip with zip. Gone. Jimmy Hendrix is back! Laura! You there, Laura! Croft! Are you getting this? Blimey! Jeez! Now that was a blast! What the hell happened? Never mind, Yankee. I'm going in. <laughs> Superhero. I'd notice the last bit. Ooh, you are so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Just remember, the less attention, the better. You dig? Thanks, but that thought had crossed my mind. Just making sure you're on the ball, lady. Enough talk. Contact me if you see anything. Whew. 
That girl has got one bad attitude. Okay guys, that's everything for me for today. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, give the video a thumbs up and I shall see you next time. Goodbye!